Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 23, December 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve, as people, oh my word, it is chugging it down. Jesus Christ, look at that, it's tipping it down. As I was going to say, I've just finished my sourdough toast for breakfast, I am having milk in my TARDIS cup. Um, cold milk today and having some biscuits dunked in it these are the plain chocolate waitress ones they're my mum's favourite so we have those ones she prefers them over the McVitie's plain chocolate ones so checking my turnip price on Animal Crossing 135 that's not great like you can get ones that are like over 500 but that's pretty decent for me I normally get under 100 but I'm gonna risk it you get a morning price before 12 and an afternoon price after 12, so I'm going to try after 12, see if it goes up. So this is Wembley Park right now. It is very dead. Very, very dead. As you can see, there is literally nobody about at all. Like, literally, nobody. Dead, dead. And here's the progress on the steps up to the stadium. You're getting somewhere. So we have just filled up this and bird feeder with, well, half filled it anyway. And yes, it hooks on, so this could go up. better than the other ones. And this is where we've put it in the apple tree, it's not raining so I can vlog it. There you go, hangs very nicely. We're trying mealworms for the first time because we found out that robins really like them from my RSP, RPS, uh, RSPB leaflet. But we're trying it here in this little branchy thing. Mum says it's meant to be a bush, but it looks like a tree. But that's right next to the back door. And the reason we stopped putting the bird feeder here was because the pigeons were right down here all the time. So any sign of a pigeon, we're going to move it back up to the apple tree, which is there. So fingers crossed, pigeons don't like the mealworm. Look at this one. How incredible. It's got tons oh, of reindeers. Did you put the back window down? We've got all the reindeers, all the reindeers. Oh, there's a lovely car. Oh, lovely van. Right. Oh, wow, look at the snowman. So cool. Look at this one again. Better angle. Oh, I love the inflatable. They've got so many reindeers. I really want to reindeer. Oh, they've got a grazing one down there as well. Here's another one just here. Look how bright that is. Lovely. Lovely and bright. So we're currently waiting for mum to finish running in and out of the um, like Tesco Express and co-op. And I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom in. See this shop here. It's called Sweet Eden. Can I get focus? There you go. It's a dessert place that I've been to with Arjun and it's really nice. I really want to get some between like Boxing Day and New Year's Eve. It's an independent one and it only opened I think in like August, September. But it's really nice, like better than creams. So we've got this Pizza Express pizza. Just cutting it up with a pizza wheel. Last couple of days on the advent candle. Yeah. Okie dokie, I'm gonna do one of my Christmas Legos. I'm going to try these little bauble faces. <clears throat> and I'm so confused. I've got the sides open, but yeah, I don't fill them properly into the packet. Is there more stickers on there? No. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Open it up. Oh, two separate packets, of course. And here's all the rest. So here we go. This is what's included in the box. Oh no! One whole packet. One whole packet of Lego pieces for both heads. And then you've got... Let's unfold this. The snowman head leaflet. The leaflet instructions. And the reindeer head instructions. Those are those two. And you got one gold P 
piece of wire, rope, whatever, and another piece. And then these are just the eyes and stuff for the reindeer and the snowman. I don't know if you can see enough of the table for this. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's better. I know you can't properly see me, but I'm to be honest, you want to see the Lego. Okie dokie. Let's start with the snowman. Oh, okay. This looks fairly simple, I think. What do you think? That side one, I'll give you a second to read that. Okay. And here's side two. I reckon I can easily do this. I suppose it's just case of finding pieces, really. So. Can I rip this open? Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go in it. Go in it. Just go tip it on the lap. Just all of it. Like that. Oh, there we go. Right, so I need to start off with a red base. Oh, the red base has attached itself to something else. Red base, I need two black things with... Okay, when I say dots, it's like the four dot... What, well, these dot things on here. I don't know what they actually call these things on Legos, but we'll say four dots. So, one, two, and now I need two dots on a green piece. One there, and one here, that is picture two, picture three, oh we need some more of these black dots except this time we're going over the green bit, like so, and same on the other end, and then in between the black bits I need to put some silver, is that silver, yeah that's silver. No, 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 it's not those ones, Ooh, maybe it isn't silver, mm. hmm. see that, that's silver, oh maybe it's white, oh no that's, I think it, ah here we go, it's got to be these white ones, yeah, yeah it's these white ones, they look silver to me but hey ho, maybe I'm just not good at looking at Lego's colours. So that's number three, like that. Number four, I need these little cornery pieces, like that. So they go on all corners, facing outwards, obviously. And then another one. Oh no, 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 oh yeah. Oh, I love that you can swivel the pieces. <laughs> So I just put that on the wrong way and that will take them forever for me to take off, let's be honest. Right, there we go. Four corner pieces and now I need to put these little yellow pieces between them. These. Going in here. And... Oh wait, no, 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 no. They don't go in there. <laughs> Sorry. Go in that bit there. So leaving the white bits empty and covering these black sides. There we go. <laughs> Um, and now to cover the white sides, we've got more white bricks like the yellow ones. So again, these ones. Put one there, and here's the other one. Put that one. Oh Jesus, I've knocked this side off. Whoops. Try again. Not going very well this is one. Oh, there we go. Right, so that's number five already. Jeez. Oh, what on earth? Okay, so I need these little uppy downy bits and I'm going inwards with them like that. And three and four. That's currently what it looks like. Now on the sides here, I need to put these green pieces. So, one on that side. Uh, one on that side. That's what we've got so far. That is number six. Oh no, that's number seven. Sorry. Number seven. 
Number eight, I need more of these little cornery pieces. That's gonna go one on here. Oh wait, one on each corner. Wait, let me just do that quick. Three, four, um, and then yellow over the green. So that's one there and one there. It's kind of the same pattern, isn't it? As like lower down. Okay. Oh, I think I now, okay, I need to put this to the side. Grab this brick and then grab some of these slanty bits and put them on in each end. Jeez. Go on. There we go. Like that and one on the other end if I can find a piece. There we go. Um, and then I need this piece with the holes in the middle of it to go in the middle like that. And then I get this piece and put it in the middle like that. That's that. Um, oh, now I need a long brown, here we go, long brown bit, and I push this up through the middle. Here it comes, here it comes. Oops, there we go. Right up, right up, okay. And now I need to put this into there. So there we go, that's slotted in. Oh, um... Now, wait, what? Oh, now I need another one of these. I think there's only one more, so I'm guessing it's just on this side, like that. Oh, is that where it says? Why I'm so confused. Oh, one second. No, this white bit I've just put in, I've just put in the wrong way around. Whoopsies. Oh, this one's come off now. What's that? So I've just done that the wrong way around. I didn't know I had to specifically put it on the right way. Okay, so those need to be on those sides. And this is going like that. So here you go. What? I'm so confused. What have I done? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I see where I've gone wrong. I basically, these yellow and green bits need to be above the other yellow and green bits. So it's like that, I believe. Oh wait, no, because that, wait, what? Oh, I'm so confused. Wait, so I've gone wrong here somewhere. Definitely, 100%. Okay, let's go back to number seven. Ah, can't get these pieces apart. Okay, so number seven showed this green bit above the yellow. And then number eight showed this bit. Okay. Is it meant to be like that though? Wait. Ooh. I'm so confused. Oh, see this grey la layer? I've put it the wrong way around, like this dented bit should be over here. So be right back and I'm going to do that. Right, here we go, so this was number six. I had this the wrong way around, it should have been that way rather than that way. Um, and then I put these green and yellow bits here and here. Okay, put that bit in there and let's just put these corn bits back on. There we go, it's looking correct now. I don't know if that would have made a difference, but I needed to go back and rectify where I went wrong. Okay, so that's number nine completed. And uh, definitely in the right order this time, I've checked the colours. <laughs> and so we're going to co cover this yellow piece up here with a white bit. I don't know if I need to do the other side, it doesn't show that. Oh no, so this is his face. Okay, so I won't be doing this with the other side then, will I? 
Um, okay. So, is that correct? Yep, that's correct. Okay, so I need this bit to go around here. Like, um, I don't know how that goes on. Like, so, wait, no, they've got, oh my god, this adds bits in and doesn't show you them. Oh, wait, no, it does, it does some here. Right, okay, so I need to put that, oh my god, over there. As you can tell, I'm very new to Lego still. I've only done a couple of sets. Right, so that's that. That's that. Now I need a little black bit like that. It's gonna go over there as well. Yeah. I can't push it down. Is that pushed down? How am I meant to tell if it's... Oh yeah, that's pushed down. Okay, so that's number 11. I think. It's looking correct. That's the angle they should... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, no, it's looking correct. And then we need to do this bit, so I need a four piece like that with a singular one like that in the middle of them. And then two slopey bits either end. Oh, there we go, like that. And on the other end the same. So we end up like that. Oh, and now we've got to get our stickers out. Okay. So I need stickers seven and six. Oh, six and seven. Just shows you the wrong way around on here. I'm guessing I was meant to do the reindeer first. Whoopsies. Now I've got to try and get these stickers right. Definitely that way up, right? Yeah. One. I mean, I don't think the eyes would look massively odd if I got the wrong way around, but, you know. There's the eyes. And then you take this little orange piece for the nose. Like so. So that's step 12. And I am adding that onto, you see where the white bit is there, the slopey bit? This is all constructing its face. Oh, wait, what? How does that? I don't. Is that gone now? What? I'm confusion. I am utterly confused right now. I think I've gone wrong again. Right, white face, yep. Full piece. Shove that on top. Oh, one second. I think I've got the eyes upside down. Yeah, I've got the... Whoops. As I said, don't think it's going to make much of a difference if the eyes are upside down. I I mean, he looks like a bit more of an unhappy snowman with his eyes this way up, but it fits. <laughs> I mean, he looks really grumpy now. <laughs> like, really grumpy. He's not meant to look that grumpy, but... Like, his eyes should be that way up, but I've done them the wrong way up because I got the pieces the wrong way. But, oh well, that's fine. Right, and now I need a big slopey bit like this for his smile. He's got a very pretty smile. Or as pretty as you can get if you're a snowman, I suppose. I mean, if you're a snowman, your smile gets made out of rocks. Depending on how pretty the rocks are. Well, let's be honest, who puts pretty rocks on snowman? Probably not many people because it's just what you find around your garden or wherever you're building a snowman. I've just realised this is probably going to be like so much of the vlog. Um, and now put bits on each side. <laughs> Two. Oh, yeah, so do these right the way around. So they're just these little slopey bits to like make him rounded. It's actually pretty cool. Oh no, I've broken his nose. His nose has come off. Oh jeez, this isn't going well, is it? <laughs> I think it's safe to say with the reindeer I'm doing a time lapse. <laughs> I 
Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay, now I need to put this grey thing on top. Where? What is the... Oh, is it this bit? It's this bit. Okay. Let me stick this grey thing on top, which will be his hanger. And then I need to get the gold rope. Can I not double it? There's a little snowman. I'm impressed. I did him. Well done me. Had some bumps along the way, but he's rounded. snowman just there and just in there is the reindeer looking fabulous that was the best place for him sadly but yeah here we go starting off with the milky bar I think calendar got to see. oh it's just a simple star with holly and a polar bear and the snowman and the snow dog it's just under the snowman scarf just here oh snowflake and we'll one number 23 two oh, candy. oh see i just saw them as two candy canes done together Come on, you've got this one. Every time you say that, it takes me longer. Oh, sorry. I have a teddy bear. And the cardboard advent. Here's number 23 by the, the fireplace, and it's a stocking. Here we have the. Up on the shelf, I think. Shelf, I think. Oh, well, that's rather <laughs> eager to leave. <laughs> we have again a snowflake. You could call it a snowflake button. All right, here we are. Number 23 on the Advent Jigsaw puzzle. I forgot it was this one. I was going to try to clean it out. We have... Oh, ho, ho, ho. I have found... A corner. A corner. Woohoo! You see it? And a straight edge. Ooh. Okie dokie. Here's number 23 right in the bottom corner. And what we got today. Ooh. The dark hot chocolate. Here we go. And now we are doing the tea to tea. Tea can. Sleep tight. Herbal. Tisane in a bag. Tisane? T I S A N E? Tisane? I don't know. Something like Let's that. See what it says. Very pretty colour, sort of. A bit of a raspberry pink, maybe? Hmm. Raspberries are darker, but I think No, it's lilac. Dark. Lilac. Lilac pink. Just lilac. Just lilac. Pink. Anyway. Tea to sleep tight. A lemon balm based. I don't know if it's called a tisane or a tisane. Something like that. That is the perfect nighttime brew with glorious aroma and delicate sweet flavour. Perfect on its own. The ingredients this time are lemon balm, lavender, jasmine blossoms and rose petals. Right, so I'm going to try the macaroon, not macaron. They are different things apparently. In a small... Cup. Oh, this is once again one of the clumpier ones. We've only had that with one or two of them. Clumpier? 
Yeah. Or lumpier. Lumpier, whatever. Okay. I think it's only been this one and maybe orange. I think it might have been orange. Yeah, that's why I wondered with the orange because I remember I used to have orange and from Wittards at one point and that used to be quite clumpy. Not putting enough hot chocolate into it even though I've got my whisk in there. I bet I've got too much in it now. I can't tell what the smell of it really is to be honest. What is it? Macaroon. Ah, we had coconut yesterday, so we'll see. So this is actually the last unique flavour in my advent calendar before they all became doubles of the first few. Can't really identify it. Just smells like the kind of smell that you'd walk into a tea shop or something and expect to smell. I said it smells like the sort of thing you'd walk into a tea shop or a herbal shop or something like that and smell. Oh, should I have a sniff? Yeah, have a sniff. Oh, no, here we go again. Do I have to? Hurry up. Just don't look at me. Do you see what I mean? Vaguely, but... I think my issue is because it... I don't like chocolate, I get chocolate. Mm. See, so I'm not getting anything specific. Mm -hmm. You've also made it too hot. Go try mixing some more in. It's just not got much flavour, I don't think. You know, I don't want to like put so much in there, it all becomes like lumpy and clumpy. But I don't know, I can't taste it. Got milk over there now. Oh, it smells a bit. You know what it smells like? Marzipan. Or maybe not. No, I'm sure it smells like marzipan. Let's smell the actual. Oh, see, that doesn't smell of marzipan. This does. Maybe it's a combination of the milk and something. I don't know. I really don't know what this smells like. Right. There we go. Clump free. See, that's sniffing like marzipan to me, but I think it's too hot. I'm not getting any particular flavour out of it because it's not even that strong, like the mint. I think this is the issue. The first day was the mint and the mint was insane. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited. I've got a whole nother sachet of that to drink and I might make myself a big hot chocolate of it in a minute. But no, I'm afraid I'm not getting anything out of this flavor. Okay, well, I know I've got another day to open on the advent calendar tomorrow, but again, I know it's a repeat of something I've already had earlier in the Vlogmas because it just starts to repeat itself. Um, so thank you, Alison, again for my hot chocolate. I have really enjoyed trying every <laughs> flavour, even if like the coffee and things like that, which weren't my sort of flavours, I have tried every single one. I've had the ones like mint and white and orange and irregular hot chocolate, no, original and milk and dark, 
all of those. Strawberry, I remember strawberry. Strawberry, uh, you know how I made a, a big cup of strawberry? I loved it to start with, but then I had to sip it. Because after I took some more mouthfuls of it, because I was like, oh my god, this is so nice. It got so sweet after a while. It was really, really sweet. So I had to start sipping on it because I was just like, oh my god, this is so sweet. I could not just drink it as a drink. It was like I was just eating strawberry laces constantly, constantly. But it was so good though. So like, when I got to the point where I was just like, yeah, I need to slow down. This is quite sweet. It was quite disappointing. But I've got another one of those, I think. Did I get that yesterday? Or maybe I haven't. No, maybe not. Just remember it was like midway through the calendar, so... I, I don't know. Either way... It was... Yeah, that was a nice one. So thank you again for giving me this. I hope everyone watching these vlogs has enjoyed my reactions to various different hot chocolate flavours. From your bog standard original to... I don't know, what's a wacky flavour for hot chocolate? Coconut? No, you get uh, you get coconut hot chocolate. Coffee hot chocolate? No, because that's a mocha, isn't it? I don't know what I'd particularly say that it smelled. Um, not smell. <laughs> not my thing. I wouldn't particularly be able to tell you which was the rarest hot chocolate flavour. Um, no, I'd say they were all quite general ones. But I've enjoyed trying them all, so thank you again. So we're watching the Santa Claus and I'm trying to get some DIYs on Animal Crossing at the same time. And that is a wrap on Christmas Eve Eve. Um, I just played Animal Crossing Ray for the rest of the night after we watched film. And I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. Hope it's been a bit more um, Christmassy than previous ones. And I hope you all a great Christmas Eve today for you. Well, today for me as well, it's 1am. And I will talk to you for the last time of Vlogmas tomorrow. So good night.